Hello, super quick video. I'm going to be basically showing you some stuff that I'm selling. Uh, some of these are on eBay, a lot of them aren't yet. Uh, and I just figured I'd offer anyone watching this, uh, mainly people in the UK, I guess, because I don't think I'd want to post outside of the UK at the minute. Um, if you want to buy some of the Blu rays I'm selling, uh, there's a lot here, but I'm still keeping like hundreds. So it's not a complete sell off of the collection, just the ones that aren't essential right now. So, uh, kicking it right off Home Alone, £3. Uh, this one is an odd one, it's on uh, eBay, um, it is the Avengers uh, Target exclusive uh, edition from the US, um, it has this gorgeous slipcover which is like heavily embossed, all the characters are embossed, the titles embossed, um, but it doesn't come with the Blu-ray, <laughs> it comes with the case and everything, the only thing inside is the, uh, the DVD because I'm keeping the Blu-ray for my Steelbook Super Duper set, but the DVD has the um, the Josh Whedon commentary, which is not on the UK Blu-ray, um, and it also has another documentary as well called, I think, uh, Assembling the Ultimate Team. So there is something on there, and you could put your uh, other Blu-ray in this case or something like that, so I'm selling that on eBay. Um, probably a bit of an ambitious price on eBay, but make me an offer for this, because I'm willing to sell it for pretty much anything, you know, give or take a few quid. Um, because I don't need it anymore. And it has the Josh Whedon commentary, which is, again, not on the UK releases. As far as I'm aware, I don't think they've, I don't think they've re released it with the commentary, but um, yeah, so there you go. There's that. Uh, this one here is on eBay as well, and I'm selling it on there for three ninety nine at the minute, so £4. Signs of the Lambs. With the slipcover, which is in okay condition. Then we have the Muppets. Uh, this is the, I think it's the Best Buy exclusive metal pack, which is gorgeous. It's a brilliant steel book, I love it. Um, but the film itself for me just wasn't one that I'll probably watch that many more times. There's some really nice embossing on the title. The inside is gorgeous. Um, it was sold as an, as an empty case, but there is the UK Blu-ray inside, which I'm selling along with it. So uh, that, um, what I list as, is yeah, £20 for that one, because it is a, an out of print uh, rare steel book. I'm trying to be as fair as I can with these prices, uh, and I think this should reflect that. The uh, wherever I listed it on eBay, you've already seen it now. <laughs> uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, Tides uh, Blu-ray DVD uh, Steelbook from HMV, and I'm selling this on eBay at the minute for three pounds. So yeah, if you want to make, make me an offer, or go over on eBay, then uh, there you go. And then we have the Porky Steelbook from Arrow Video. Really nice set, really nice release. Still got the J card in there. It's in completely mint condition. Um, and yeah, it's got, uh, I'm not sure if it has the Blu-ray and DVD. No, just the Blu-ray. So there you go. That is, I'm selling that for £10 at the minute. And we move over to a classic, classic film, Citizen Kane, with a perfect condition slip cover. Um, and this I'm selling for £5. Amazing film. And it's got some really cool special features as well. Great uh, restoration on that one. Uh, then we have, well, I'm selling the Theater of Blood, but there's someone on Facebook who might be taking this off my hands, so I'll throw that to the side for a second. Um, then we have another Arrow video release it is uh, Sisters, uh, currently selling this for seven pounds. Brian De Palma film from the 70s. Uh, then we have a TV show. Uh, Idiot Abroad series one and two. You got both the Amory cases inside, two discs each. Amazing show, so funny. Uh, I'm going to get the season one to three box set, but this has the first two ser series, and the third one's more of an add-on anyway. So this is kind of the complete main part of the, the, the Carl Pilton show, and has this cardboard out of box as well. I'm selling that for eight pounds. Uh, then we have Pit Stop, uh, a great film by uh, Jack Hill who directed Coffee and Foxy Brown. I'm selling this for £8, Arrow Video release as well. Uh, then we have a Real Heroes Edition uh, slipcover, again in perfect mint condition, of Mongo, and this I'll be selling for £2. Uh, and then we have Family Guy Something 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 Dark Side, which I think is it have a DVD with it, or is it a. Uh, uh, this DVD includes a portable digital copy. Okay, I'm not sure if it actually is a DVD or whether it just includes a, a digital download to transfer to the PC. But either way, you got you got two discs in there. Same with the other one. Uh, two pound for that. And I have the other one, Family Guy. It's a trap. Two pound for that one also. 
Got a lot of that artwork. Uh, then we have a great uh, music documentary. Does it have the? No. Doesn't have the UV code anymore. Uh, Marley. Awesome film. Fantastic. Uh, two pounds. And then we have the extended other edition of The Other Guys, £2. We have James Gunn, the guy who directed Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, one of his films, Super, which is so fucked up. <laughs> Got Rain Wilson and, uh, what's her name, uh, Ellen Page in this. Crazy film, uh, £2. Land of the Lost, Will Ferrell, and probably my favourite uh, comic actor right now, Danny McBride. Um, it's an okay film, I watched it my first 24 hour movie marathon, uh, £2. Uh, I think I might keep that one, I had it in the stack, but um, we have Gremlins, amazing film, I love this so much, uh, I just want to get a better edition of it at some point, £3. Another, another classic film, The Goonies, uh, £3 also. And then we have a uh, good spy comedy with The Rock and Steve Carell, Get Smart, £2. A couple of Kevin Smith films, Chasing Amy, £2. And then the classic 15th anniversary edition of Clerks, £2 also. Another great comedy, Mel Brooks' Blazing Saddles, £2. Uh, Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me, <laughs> £3. Uh, I say three pounds because you can get two pounds for this at CEX. So uh, trying to get a bit more than what they're offering, basically. Uh, Simon Pegg, a fantastic fear of everything, which is Darren Locke's favorite film of all time, uh, two pounds. Fifty Fifty, great uh, comedy drama with Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Seth Rogen. I think it says the the DVD as well. Three pounds. Woody Allen film from a few years ago, Vicky Cristina Barcelona. Really, really like this film a lot. Uh, two pounds. Uh, Shane Meadows film, uh, Summer's Town. Um, I'll say one pound on that one because you can get this super cheap. So just one pound for that one. It is a good film. I do enjoy, did enjoy it a lot. Uh, then we have a fairly newish release from a, well, a few years ago, I guess. Um, but this is a great, great film starring Marion Cotillard, um, Rustin Bone. Uh, four pounds for that one. Great, great film. French film, by the way. Uh, then we have another foreign film, uh, Hero, which is brilliant and looks stunning on Blu-ray. Three pounds for that one. Then we have Haywire, which I really, really enjoyed. It's a really good action film um, starring Gina Carano, who was used to be a, a cage fighter, I think. Great cast. It's a ridiculous cast in this one. You've got um, Michael Fassbender, Ewan McGregor, Bill Paxton, Channing Tatum, Antonio Banderas, Michael Douglas... It's, it's a wonder this film didn't do better, but it's really, really good. Two pounds. Uh, then we have a Norwegian film, which is brilliant. I love this film. It is Headhunters. Really, really good. This is, um, what's his name? Is it Jamie from uh, Game of Thrones? Um, the, the brother of uh, Cersei, I think. Uh, yeah, really good one. Uh, two pounds for that one. Really good film. Enjoyed it a lot. And this one is a Roman Polanski film. Starring Jodie Foster, Kate Winslet, Christoph Waltz, and John C. Reilly, Carnage. Really, really good film. Of these four characters just in one apartment for the whole building. For the whole building. <laughs> in one apartment for the whole film. Uh, it's a real-time film. Uh, £3 for that one. I think that has the DVD. No, it doesn't. But it has a little mini poster inside as well. Not of the film, but of something else. Uh, then we have Bunraku, which I've never watched. Um, has a one of those like kind of half-slips. With uh, embossing on the front, it's got Josh Hartnett, Woody Harrelson, Ron Perlman, Demi Moore. Um, yeah, Ben Raku. Uh, I'd say uh, a pound for that one because again, it's one you can find cheap. So, a few more left at the bottom now. We have uh, the Men in Black Three Steelbook, which uh, is really really cool. You got Will Smith there, and then on the back you have Tommy Lee Jones, and it's a really cool effect. The further you get away from it, the more you can see, kind of thing. And uh, there's great inside artwork of. Um, that character in the film, played by the guy from um, Flight of the Concords, is it Jermaine? Um, I really, really love this film, but um, we'll have to let go of the steelbook and maybe just get like a trilogy set in the future. But yeah, really, really nice steelbook. Um, I would say, I would say eight, eight pounds for that one. I think is a reasonable price. Um, another steelbook. Well, there's only steelbooks left now. Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, the HMV exclusive. 
I think this is pretty readily available. Um, it's quite a nice one. You've got Gary Oldman on the back and front there. And uh, I would say uh, £6 for that one. Uh, then we have one that is from uh, Canada, uh, so it is Region A locked, has a Blu-ray and DVD, and uh, it is Snow White and the Huntsman. So it's different from the UK Steelbook, it's a really nice one. Um, and on the back you've got some nice artwork there with the main characters of the film, Chris Hemsworth and uh, Kristen Stewart and Charlize Theron. And uh, this one um, I'll be selling for £13. And finally, um, another HMV exclusive still book, which is really nice. The inside artwork is great as well. Resident Evil Afterlife, and I'll be selling that one for five pounds. So there you go. Um, there is another stack down there of, of films I'm selling, but I want to watch them before I sell them because I haven't watched them yet. So uh, maybe we'll do a follow-up video. And this video I'll probably take down uh, after I've sold all these, if I manage to sell all these. So this is just kind of an unofficial quick video to throw up there and let you guys know I'm selling these things and if you want to buy them from me then uh, send me a private message add me on Facebook facebook.com forward slash razorware reviews message me there and we'll sort something out PayPal and uh, and I'll send these off to you as soon as possible if you're interested in any of them uh, the postage uh, will be like an extra pound if you're buying one thing um, but if you're buying like a, a bunch of them um, I'll do like a deal and, and cut down the, the, pro the postage price I should say uh, we'll just kind of work out on a case by case basis if anyone is even interested and again check out um, I'll leave a link to my eBay page down below where some of these are still selling so uh, but it just doesn't seem like it's getting much traction on eBay and I'd rather sell it directly to some of you guys if that's possible so yeah uh, it'd be a help if you could um, buy some of these um, but if not no worries and uh, I'll see you in the next video